Hi. Now, in the previous part to this question, we had to show that the derivative with respect to y of y times the natural log of 2y minus y is the natural log of 2y. But in the second part, we're given that the diagram here shows the curve with the equation y equals a half e to the power x squared. And the point p with coordinates 2, half e to the power 4, lies on the curve. And the shaded region is bounded by the curve and the lines x equals 0 and y equals a half e to the power 4. And what we've got to do is find the exact volume of the solid produced when the shaded region is rotated completely about the y-axis. So if you'd like to have a go at this and you haven't done so already, I'll give you a moment to pause the video, do come back when ready, and you can check your work solution against mine. Okay, welcome back if you had a go. Well, first of all, what you've got to be familiar with is that to get the volume of revolution, which I'm going to call V, about the y-axis is given by pi times the integral of x squared with respect to y. And the limits have to be y limits, and those limits are going to be from here to this point here. Well, this lower value is when x equals 0. And when x equals 0, you can see that we've got e to the power 0, which is going to be 1. 1 times a half is going to be a half. So this lower point here is when y is equal to a half. And then the upper limit here is the y value, a half e to the power 4, as we've got here at the point p. So this is going to be a half e to the power 4. Now we need to change x squared in terms of y. And to do that, what we need to do is to go back to what our basic equation was for y. y equals a half e to the power x squared. And from that, we can make x squared the subject. So we've got y equals a half e to the power x squared. And so the first thing I'd want to do is multiply both sides by 2. So that's going to give me 2y equals e to the power x squared. And then I'm going to take natural logs to both sides. If I take the natural log of the right hand side, then this just gives me x squared. So I've got x squared equals, and if I take the natural log of the right hand side, it equals the natural log of 2y. So I can change my integral now to be that that volume v will equal pi times the integral of x squared, which is now the natural log of 2y. And that's integrated with respect to y, going between the limits of a half and a half e to the power 4. Now this is where the first part comes in useful. We had to show that by differentiating y times the natural log of 2y minus y, it came to the natural log of 2y. So if we differentiated this and it gave us this, then integrating the natural log of 2y must give us y times the natural log of 2y minus y. So that's what I'm going to put in here that this is pi times, and then we can fill this in with y times the natural log of 2y minus y. And that goes then between the limits of 1 half and a half e to the power 4. OK, so we'll just come down here now, and we should be able to substitute our limits in, simplify, and work out what that volume is. So therefore what we've got here then is the volume V is going to equal pi. Okay. Now we'll start to substitute our limit in 
of a half e to the power 4 for y. So we're going to have the y here is now half e to the power 4. And then we've got the natural log of 2 times y. So natural log of 2 times y. And if we double this result, times it by 2, we're just going to be left with e to the power 4 there. And then we've got minus y. So that's minus a half e to the power 4. And from this, we now subtract what we get when we substitute y as a half in here. So we've got a half. OK, let's put this in brackets. A half multiplied by the natural log of 2 times a half, which is going to be the natural log of 1. And then we've got minus y, minus a half then. All right. And if we simplify this, we'll keep that pi out there. And what have we got here? Well, for this term here, the natural log of e to the power 4, I'm going to use the power rule for logs, and that would be 4 times the natural log of e. So we've got half e to the power 4 multiplied by 4 times the natural log of e. And we'll just put that term in, minus a half e to the power 4. Now the natural log of 1 is 0, so that takes out that term there. So we've just got minus, minus a half, which is going to be plus a half. Next, what have we got? Well, the natural log of e, we should know, is 1. So this is just going to be 4. And so half of 4 is 2, so we've got 2 times e to the power 4 minus the half e to the power 4, and then plus a half. So we can simplify this further. We've got pi then, and 2 e to the 4 minus a half e to the 4 is going to be 1 and a half e to the 4, or we could write it as 3 over 2 e to the 4, and then we got the plus a half. And I suppose you could leave it like that, or you could pull out a half as a common factor and get pi over 2, and that's multiplied by 3e to the power 4 plus 1. OK? And because it's a volume, I prefer to write, say, units cubed. But that's up to you, OK? I can't see you losing any marks for something like that. But uh, there we go. There's our solution. Hope you're able to get it. If not, you've been able to see where you may have gone wrong.